Three, two, one. News 12 now at 11. Your news starts now. Good evening, I'm Amber Worthy. And disturbing details are coming out of Memphis tonight as police search for a possible serial rapist. And a Bradley Central High School student received a surprise guest at his graduation this morning. Sergeant Dakota Garrett wasn't supposed to make it back from his deployment in time for his brother Nakoma's graduation. But when he did, the smile on Nakoma's face when they locked eyes will just warm your heart. Oh my goodness, three hugs and a few tears later, he was able to welcome home his big brother, Dakota. Well, coming up in sports, Nick Saban has a tumultuous history with the media. This weekend was no different. Find out what he had to say to a reporter after yesterday's win next. And today kicks off National Preparedness Month. This is a time of the year where officials urge you to make sure your home has a plan and a kit for any potential disaster. Tuesday, the Whitfield County Sheriff's Office is hosting a workshop about preparing without breaking the bank. It will be at 630 at the Whitfield County Recreation department. Details for how you can register are on our website at WDEF.com. Afternoon, Amber, I know you're excited. It's looking like we've got a taste of fall on the way later this week. You know that is my favorite time of the year. Thanks, Christina. Well, coming up, Pennsylvania flooding has left dozens of residents trapped and major roads shut down. A look at the roads that were washed away in return. Hundreds gathered in the Swedish capital of Stockholm today for a festival that celebrated facial hair with a parade and a barber oh, battle. All right. <laughs> a vast array of styles were displayed at this World Beard Day event as a crowd of about 200 gathered for that parade organized by the Swedish chapter of the International Beard Club called the <laughs> Sorry. Called the Bearded Villains. Okay, I have a serious <laughs> question here though. Oh, that's funny. Was this National Beard World Beard Day? Did that discriminate against only mustache and goatee folks? Probably. I so think you so. had to have the I full think it, beard? Well, you saw some some like just this? goatees. I think there's a reason it's in Sweden because <laughs> here it's way too hot to have a beard that long. Uh, True. That's, that's called No Shave November. <laughs> Exactly, and that's why we'll wait until it's a bit cooler for that. As we look at the Storm Team 12 seven day forecast one more time, yeah, it still looks a whole lot like summer here. Still seeing our temperatures hang up around 90 degrees each afternoon. Looking pretty good though for Labor Day. Just a slim chance of an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. May see a couple more clouds around Wednesday and Thursday, and a few more showers and thunderstorms around. Still though, no big rain chances ahead this week. Not until it looks like late next weekend. We are keeping an eye on. Headlines on demand. Thanks for joining me for your News 12 Now Headlines on Demand. I'm Amber Worthy. We have new information about a fight that broke out at Silverdale last night. Core Civic, the business that manages the jail, says that the unit involved in the incident is on lockdown. They will have limited escorted movement until further notice. They did confirm that some inmates were transported off site for medical treatment, but they have been returned to the facility. No staff members were hurt and the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office is conducting a criminal investigation. Don't forget, you can always get your Storm Team 12 forecast right here on demand at WDEF.com. Have a great night. Later in the week, I misspoke earlier, today was our ninth straight day of rain. I lost count after seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of am appreciative of those 70, so hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Bye.